Yeah, the Bands View um, training gives us a tool to let data be as it is. And data meaning all our thoughts, emotions, sensations, experience, whatever we can perceive, we can just uh, call it data to just keep it simple. And um, so we, we get a tool to let data be as it is. Now, before I came to the training, I was I, th I was thinking I need to change my data. So I had a set of data, like some thoughts or, um, or emotion that I didn't really like, or I thought some of them I really like and I need more of them, or some I need to really get rid of or um, work on or analyze away in order to feel comfortable with myself. So I, I had all these ideas of how it should look like in order to be comfortable and at ease, I, I need to have certain kinds of data. And um, so I was working hard on that. I put all my energy, effort into that and it, it never really worked. I mean, it worked maybe for a limited time and then boom, the next data came up unpredictable. That, and that's the nature of all data. I mean, they come completely unpredictable. We, not, we don't know what data comes next. and. So then, <clears throat> if I manage to have a, a easeful, maybe hour, and then woof, something came in. Somebody maybe annoyed me, or somebody, whatever it is, and then that that was that ease was gone. So all that working on my data to get positive data in place just was was gone at once. And then I came to this training, and I was introduced to a different way of um, using my mind to a different, slightly different way. And, and, and that was just allowing data to be as it is. So no need to change any data streams, no matter if they are negative or things that I don't like. I can allow them to be as they are. Nothing need to change. And in that, finding complete ease and comfortability, <laughs> completely without needing to change anger, without needing to ch change what else is there, jealousy, what are the things we don't really like, <laughs> so hard to think about it, because it becomes also equal and even in that expanse of open intelligence. Nothing needs to change, no matter what data streams come up, we see, wow, all is well. My stability and my um, sense of complete well-being isn't affected by the thoughts, emotions, and sensations. So that was really powerful to, to be introduced to by, um, by the simple method, a simple practice of the short moments. And a short moment, recognizing open intelligence is always present. So how can we do a short moment? We can just allow everything to be as it is, resting body and mind completely for a short moment recognizing that open intelligence is always present in our thoughts, emotions and sensations. Open intelligence is primary to all our data streams. So we can introduce ourselves to open intelligence by just stopping thinking for a moment and recognize that something about us remains that is always clear, always present, always stable. If we are thinking or not thinking, because the, the goal is not to get um, into a state of no, no thought, but to uh, introduce ourselves to open intelligence. It's so potent to just stop thinking because we are so used to being in our thoughts, describing everything, so we, we don't maybe notice that there's a quality about us always present, always stable, remaining always wide open, hearing everything that is being said, feeling, sensing, knowing, our power to know, that's open intelligence. And through the practice of the short moments, we more and more bring the, the, open, the experience of recognizing open intelligence in the foreground, rather than analyzing, trying to change our data streams into better data streams, in a better set of, of circumstances. Rather, we recognize that Open intelligence is shining forth in all experience, nothing left out. So <clears throat> to recognize that is, becomes so freeing because suddenly we see that nothing needs to change in our experience to be completely potent, at ease and powerful and seeing clearly in every moment. So even when the, 
the anger comes up, for example. That's a good, that's a good, uh, I love that talk because it comes up for everyone. I think everybody has experienced anger in their life and we all know that very well and we have all different ways of dealing with it. I, I was, I used to try to dampen it down. I used to try not to feel it and not to express it and, you know, really trying to keep it at bay. I put so much energy into that and trying to not, you know, like never trying not to say something that may hurt someone. And of course it, it didn't work when we're angry sometimes like we just collapse into maybe say things we regret. We feel really terrible about, you know, everything that goes on. We are pissed off of this one. He did that and all the storyline about that. And then just to take a short moment, ah, oh, such a relief not going fo need to follow after all the stories allowing everything to be as it is allowing the anger completely to be as it is not needing to get rid of the anger or dampening it down what we see is that that anger we allow that anger to open up completely and seeing that we actually can use it to see what will be of most benefit actually it's just that energy rushing through our body we're allowing it to be as it is and not collapsing into the anger we see clearly from top of the mountain or like the bird sees from, from top everything clearly and can then see what would be of most benefit, have insights into that circumstance, com completely knowing what to do and what to, um, how to act that will um, uphold every, that circumstance to, the, to, be of, uh, to, to be most beneficial for everyone involved. But we are not limited by our reactions on the anger, and it's, th that is really the most profound use we can use our, our mind and how we relate to our data streams. That was a completely shift of how I perceived my data. Suddenly, where I thought I need to get rid of the anger or change it, now I can allow it to be as it is, and actually it will support me to see clearly, sharply, and have insights into that circumstance, that all that energy rushing through, completely open. Then seeing, not having any rule book of how, how to act in that circumstance, but really seeing in every moment, in each time, place, and circumstance, what will be of most benefit there remaining completely open, then we tap into our capacity to do that. And, um, yeah, to really allow that everything completely to open up allows us more and more to align with, with benefit in our life. Aligning ourselves to open up our, our um, qualities and activities, our strengths, gifts and talents, to bring them to, to contribute to yeah, what, what serves for the world to be of benefit. And um, also in, in, in the aspect of creativity, I find that amazing. Aligning our creative potential with benefit. Now, before I came to the training, I had all kinds of ideas about creativity. I, like it was always um, attributed to myself. How can I be completely creative? How how can I look good in that and how can I, it was always just me, how I, yeah, how people perceive me and oh, creative, it's cool or this and that, you know, like all of that. And now it's just completely open to the benefit of all. We can use our creativity for the benefit of all, but it's not reflected in order for me to, to express something that is, um, yeah, attributed to one, myself and my, yeah but rather it's to benefit all. And then we can just completely open that up and it, it might look in a different way than we, we thought about it, but um, that's remaining completely open. Then we can be ultimately creative for the benefit of all. It's beautiful when we have that passion to be creative. But for me, the motivation comes now from a completely different space in my experience. And that is so powerful, really to see, wow, well, there's no identity that I need to keep in place or hold in place, no idea about myself to really, yeah, that just opens up more and more. We more and more see we are the vastness of open intelligence, including of everything and our true identity, benefit, is benefit. We are just so naturally endowed with 
qualities and activities and strengths, gifts and talents that we just easily can contribute to the world, each one of us, in our own unique way. So it's not included. Everybody has their strengths, gifts and talents and more and more we settle into that, more and more we get comfortable within that and seeing how we can contribute those. More and more we get clear on that. And also the, not only clear on that, but also the power and the joy of bringing them forth and contributing to the world. So it's exciting. We learn so much about ourselves. But when we had a concept of, of ourselves, what we, we are and what we can do, then we might not see what, what we actually can do. Such mu so much more, because more and more we see, oh, we are, are capable of so many things. And then we see, okay, what do I want to do? How do I want to choose my time and my energy? How do I want to use it for the benefit of all? So that's, that's really amazing to get more and more clear on that. And that's what I see with, through, um, through the Four Mainstays of Balance View has completely supported me in more and more getting clear on that.